hello guys all right welcome back to my channel um sorry hello guys all right welcome back to my channel um i'm so sorry the lesson one is actually delaying because um i'm trying to use a software the software that i'm trying to use to edit the video the actually my processor um my ram is too small you know so it, it actually takes time for the system to run on my computer so today i'm actually shooting a video this video is a very short video because the first video that i'm going to release the first lesson is going to be about tones and then finals but i realized that i need to introduce um, pinyin before like i need to teach you what pinyin is and then pinyin is what allows you to i mean type and then speak chinese like if you want to type chinese and then even if you want to speak chinese you, have, you use pinyin now pinyin is the orals, the sounds that we hear when we speak the Chinese. You see that Chinese is all about characters, but then the pinyin is the 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 alpha, the English alphabetical aspect that you hear out of Chinese. For example, if someone says ni hao, now you hear n i, which represents the ni, and then you hear h a o, which represents the how. Yes, yeah, so this ni hao the n i n and the h a o in this um phrase is what we actually call the pinyin okay yo so now how do you type the pinyin on your phone or computer so that it can give you the character you know if you want to type the character for ni you need to rather type the pinyin before you can get the character okay and there are a lot of characters that uses the same pinyin which is n i for example if you want to use ni so it means that I, I needed to introduce how you can easily, I mean, use pinging on your computer or on your phone so that when you start using it or when you start typing or when you start translating English into Chinese, it will be very easy for you. Yeah, so basically I'll be showing it. For example, if you use an iPhone, it's very easy because the phone has automatically um, installed the keyboards of a lot of languages in it okay those using iphone i don't know about some android phones but i know that some android phones also have but those using iphones the phone has already um in incorporated the chinese um, keyboard in it so if you go to your settings you go to general then you go to keyboard then you also click on keyboards again then you click on add keyboards so when you click on add keyboards all the system existing keyboards that you already have on your phone or yeah on your phone will actually show so that you'll be able to add them and then when you add them after adding them what you have to do is that it means that your phone's keyboard is going to be more than one okay so on iphones on iphones when you add them you realize that um there will be the symbol of a globe the symbol of a globe right close to the um one two three where you click to change the numbers there will be that symbol so that is where you will click to switch the language for example if you want to type in pinyin if you want to type ni hao to someone you just need to type n i and then you get the ni character you select and then you type you type h a m h a o which is the how then you get the how character then you select so if you want to switch from the english keyboard to the pinyin keyboard you have to on iphone you see the globe sign and then on some android phones i don't know for that is but some on some android phones when you install the chinese keyboard into your system you can switch i mean from the english keyboard to the chinese keyboard by using the space button by actually swiping by swiping the space button from left to right you can actually change the keyboard from english to any other language it happens to any other language that you want to use yeah so you just be having your normal keyboard but then you have a button that will enable you to switch from english to other languages yes yeah, so i'll actually be doing um i'll be showing it i'll be doing a screen, a screen recording of how you can download and then use it and then the last thing is that if your android phone some android phones cannot uh, do not have the internal you know installed chinese chinese keyboards so if your android phone does not have then what you have to do is that you have to download an app which is called so 
the name of the app is Sogo. Now, this app, will, the app, when you download and install the app, the app will automatically incorporate the Chinese keyboard into your phone system. So I remember, like, when I, I was using Acatel One Touch, you know, it, it didn't have the Chinese keyboard in the system. So I had to download Sogo, which enabled me to um, type Chinese on my phone. So when you download Sogo, you can get it on Apple Store. You can also, uh, you don't, Apple, if you use an Apple, you don't need it. But or you can get it on Play Store. So you have to download the Sogo. And then after downloading and installing it, that's it. You won't use the app again. The only thing is that the app will automatically incorporate the Chinese keyboard into your system so that you'll be able to also be typing the pinyin. Ha, so that is for those whose Android phones, I know some modern Android phones automatically have, but then if your Android phone don't have, then that is what you will be doing. And then that is the same for computers too. If your computer don't have, um, I think now most modern computers have Chinese, I mean, keyboards incorporated in them but if your computer don't have you can also download we have the sogo for phone and then we have the sogo for computer so if you download it it will also enable you to type the pinyin which will bring out the characters on both your computer and your phone yes yeah, so i'm actually going to work so i'll be showing everything that i said how you can download and how you can do the swiping and all and everything thank you very much for watching this channel once again i promise that um tonight i'm going to um upload the lesson one which is actually going to be on finals and tones yeah so thank you please like and subscribe all right